I will not allow to be pigeonholed because of this debate. Mr. Speaker, let me proceed. Family of Kenyatta, when it was the year of 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 the Watu wa boda boda na watu wa wilbaro Nikisama wilbaro unasema kazi ni kazi Wilbaro Wilbaro Ruto Wilbaro Mungu wa mariki sana Nation. <laughs> Mimi na furai sana mwashimu wa Deputy President William Ruto Kwa sababu ya vili ambavyo umeweza kuonyesha Kwamba the time ya kumaliza siyasa za second liberation Wewe umetusaidia kutukomboa kwa hiyo minyororo Na mimi nasema hivi Tangu sasa kusonga mbele Mimi ni maingia Hasla Nation Mimi nataka kuwa na vijana wenzangu Hatuwezi kwa kuwa tunatawaliwa Na the same kind of people Tunamuheshimu president wetu Uhuru Kenyatta Abisa Sindio Sisi ni wanachama halisi wa jubili Ama na mdagani Hiyo ndiyo chama ambao tulichagua 2017 Na tutasimama na hiki chama mpaka mwisho wa 2020 Ama na mdagani Ama na mdagani Kwa hivyo wale ambao wanaleta fitina Sindio Wanasema timbo ahora ye siyo loyo Tunawambia hao ni maagent wa shetani wa shinwe Ama na mdagani Rekodi yangu katika bunge Inaonyesha wazi vile nimesimama nikapika kura kulingana na mrengo wa chama Lakini muhimu zaidi kutetea watu wale mavu ambao ni wanyonge Ama na mdagani Na akuna vile we uneza kuja unataka kuwaribu amani yetu Kasi tunasema tunapenda rais sana Na pia ye akiwa party leader Tunampenda sana Na hata deputy party leader William Ruto tunampenda zaidi Ama na mdagani Sisi tunajua tulisema ya uhuru kumi Na ya ruto kumi Tumekosea kusema hima kwenye Tumekosea Kama kukona agenda ingine 
Sasa tuambiwe. I think uh, now BBI has become the bandwagon for everyone. Even those who are perceived to be opposing it are joining the rally in Mombasa. So we also need to be there. Because if you are not at the table, you are on the menu. You are going to be eaten. So you'd rather be there. Okay? Two, they say two, cook, two many cooks spoil the broth. But let's first cook this thing together. Because you cannot be sharing what has been cooked by others. Otherwise you may be the one who has already been cooked. So it is important to be part and parcel of the process. And uh, we also wanted to understand. Because when you go to Mashinani Kule Kwetu Central, people do not seem to understand what is this BBI. It is true that we have inherited a colonial state that actually is extractive in nature. And the first extraction was to the crown in London. And when you look now to where we are today, you will see that the same arguments that were in 1963, 65, are prevailing between a central government and devolution and between the people and uh, landmass. Mr. Speaker, if you refer to the 1965 session of paper number 10 on African uh, uh, socialism and its application in the planning of Kenya, you will clearly see a contestation between a country that wanted to concentrate its resources so as to galvanize the country and the failure of Majimbo and the advice that was given to Kadu through its lawyer who was actually hired from Switzerland where they have cantons. Cantons that are divided, seven of them, and which produce a, rotation, a, a rotating president every year for seven years. And coming back to this same uh, idea of a session of paper, it is very interesting to note that there was also another session of paper in 2012 that was actually put in place ostensibly, ostensibly, Mr. Speaker, to slow down the horse for the donkey to catch up. And this session of paper, championed by uh, Waziri Muhammad Elmi, is not actually being uh, flagged out as a key determinant of the current uh, second generation formula that actually has caused an illegality and injustice to many Kenyans who deserve to be properly resourced in terms of the, of the monies that are going to counties. And why am I saying so? If you look at the Sakaja Amendment, it seeks to freeze the population of this country to the 2009 census. And Mr. Speaker, I beg to disagree. Because we have new data in 2019. And I want to give an example. In the county of Mandera, there were the, the 2019 census has demonstrated that the population reduced by 15%, Mr. Speaker. And when you look at that, in the 2009 census, the same population had more males than females within the same variance. And yet the norm is there are slightly more females than males. If you combine the population of Wajia, Mandera, and Garissa, you get a total population of 2,490,000 people. And you will compare the same to the population of Kiambu. We have 2,417,735 persons. Now, the cumulative allocation of those three counties is a record 25 billion, Mr. Speaker. And yet, the, the, the allocation for Kiambu County is 9.4 billion with actually a, a wage bill of 8 billion, Mr. Speaker. What's your point of order, Is that Senator? really fair? What's your point of order, Senator? A county Senator? with the same number of order, people order, 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 gets 16 billion. Order. There is a point of intervention from Senator Mazayo. Asante wana speaker. Hoja yangu ya nidhamu. Hivi sasa tunongea mambo ya ugavi 
wa pesa zinazokwenda katika county ndugu yangu Maura ambaye anamheshimu sana anasema sasa watu wa Mandera waume ni wengi wanawake kidogo anasema watu wa Mandera maeneo yao ni pakubwa hawana watu yeye aongee vile anavyotaka kupinga ile hoja ya ugavi wa pesa ambao umeletwa na ndugu yetu Sakaja kuliko kutupeleka katika njia njia nyingi mbili tatu nne tano za kusema wengine wanazaa zaidi wengine wazai zaidi hasa akisema kwamba watu wa Kiambu wanazaa wanawake wengi wanaume ni kidogo inamaanisha nini katika ile hoja yake anatuletea hapa nafikiria bwana spika ingekuwa vyema uweze kumwambia atulie katika kile kitengo ambacho anataka kusema badala ya kusema kwamba wakina mama wa kutoka Mandera ama sehemu zozote atakazotaka kustaja ni makosa sana kuambia kwamba mama zetu hawazai waume wanazaa wanawake ama wanazaa waume wengi na wanawake hawazaliwi wakati na tamaura uchunga usiende kwa details zingine ambazo zinaweza kuleta taharuki mheshimiwa speaker na ni radhi lakini lazima niseme ukweli uliopo e, kwa sababu kila kila mama ana uwezo wa kupata mtoto na watu wa Kiambu ni wengi kwa hivyo lazima ni, niongee kuhusu takwimu takwimu ambazo ni rasmi sio mambo ya kufikiria na, sif, na sidhani mheshimiwa speaker hiyo ilikuwa hoja ya nidhamu hiyo ilikuwa ilikuwa kuchanga na nina kuomba mheshimiwa speaker tafadhali uweze kunikinga kutokana na hoja zisizo za, za, za nidhamu za, za rafiki yangu e, mheshimiwa e, 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 mwazayo na mheshimiwa speaker ni sembe pia kuna watu ambao wanafikiri kwamba wao lazima wazungumze wengine wasizungumze nitazungumza mheshimiwa speaker let, let me go back you started in english so we go back yeah, let, let, let me proceed i was just using kiswahili because we know it also uh, mr speaker if you look at the county of kilifi there are 1.4 million people with a current allocation of 10 billion against my county of kiambu with 2.4 million people getting 9 billion. And Mr. Speaker, this is the injustice that we are talking about when it comes to debating about the revenue formula. Mr. Speaker, there has been an argument, there has been an argument, Mr. Speaker, that the formula so proposed by the committee okay, on okay, which my good brother, what's Senator, your, Senator, Senator Sakaja wants to amend. What's your point of order? Mr. Speaker, sir, I am baffled by your directives in this house. You've directed that uh, we comply with the Ministry of Health guidelines on this COVID pandemic. My, my dear brother, you can be emotive as you want, but we must protect other people who are here. When you speak without uh, a, a, a mask, you're on the dispatch, which is what our dear colleagues from the other chambers will be using is putting their life at risk. So, Mr. Speaker, sir, I would really plead with you that we focus, and then we be, remain relevant on the issues. There is no issue of, there's no point of bringing, um, uh, being emotive on this matter. Let's follow the Ministry of Health guidelines, and let's not also point at our colleagues from Kilifi when he just spoke, and then our dear brother goes directly. There's no point of trying to antagonize each other. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, sir. Okay, order. I'm directing that if you'll speak without a mask, I'll order you to sit down. I can see a point of order from Senator Mohamud. Mr. Speaker, sir, is my good friend, Senator Maura, in order to be talking about Kiambu, Cliffy Mandera, while actually he represents a special interest, he does not represent Kiambu. Okay, Senator Maura. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you, thank, you, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, that is the most frivolous point of uh, statement that has come from my, uh, my former chairman. Because uh, I am in the de Kiambu delegation. I am born and bred in Kiambu. I represent the people of Kiambu here. I vote for them many occasions. And even in Kiambu County, Mr. Speaker, there are so many people with disabilities. And so, therefore, I will not allow to be pigeonholed because of this debate. Mr. Speaker, let me proceed. 